One of the most frightening kinds of dreams I've had, and I've only had this a couple times, but maybe it's happened to you, where you're in a dream, but you don't know you're in a dream, and something fearful is happening, and you want to move, but your body won't move. Very frightful state. In this service, one of the hymns that we chanted talks about something even more fearful, and yet something that we don't often realize is more frightening. And that's not when our minds and hearts are willing to move, but our body won't. It's when our body moves, but our soul is asleep. We prayed, my soul, my soul, arise. Why are you sleeping? Tonight, this whole Lenten season and our whole life is really about waking up our souls. It's so easy to live a life where the body is very much awake. We ask it over and over again every day, what do you want? And then we give it to and yet our souls, if we're not careful, we don't even realize that our souls are deep, deep in slumber. So we come here tonight, and as I hope we do every day, to wake up our slumbering souls. The Gospel tonight talked not so much about doing something differently, whether it was praying or fasting or giving alms, it talked about doing something in a different manner and for a different reason. In other words, what the body does is less important than what's going on in our hearts and in our, in our souls. And that is the heart of why we do what we do. Yes, we need to pray. Yes, we need to fast. Yes, we need to give alms. It's not by accident that here at the heart of our Lord's Sermon on the Mount, the same three things that we're trying to resurrect in our lives during Lent, to pray, fast, and give alms. That's the, the core of what we do. And yet, our Lord is not talking about necessarily what we do, yeah. why we do it, and for what purpose. In other words, what is the state of our souls? Are our souls sleeping to the point we do these things so that other people can see us go, oh, that guy, look at him, look at that girl, look at what she does. Or our, are our souls awake? And if our souls are awake, we realize, as we talked about last night, what a mess we're in. But we don't realize that, whether in the midst of hearing the canon of St. Andrew or whatever brings to us the state of our souls and brings us to that awakeness of realizing how messed up and perhaps asleep we've been, we wake up to what? Or to whom? If we wake up, we wake up and see the face of Christ. We wake up and see the same face of Christ we see in the icon, waiting for us to wake up. Not to judge us and condemn us and to shake his finger at us, but to do what he's doing now, to bless us. To bless us by his name, to bless us with his presence, with his mercy, and with his love. So let's make this Lent and every day of our lives days to be awake, not just awake in body. We've done that pretty well. We've got to be awake in our soul, wake up our soul, to realize the love of God has been there in so many ways and so many uh, diverse manners, and we just we didn't see it because we were sleeping. Uh, may we wake up in our souls and see the love of God and do what uh, what is called for once we see Him.